The perfect storm in Westchester. Rising water brought with it damage to several local businesses. Good evening. I'm Julie O'Neill. Nine on your side's Jake Ryle joins us with the response from the city and neighbors reaction. Well, the water has since receded here, but neighbors tell me it happened so fast. Within an hour, water had risen above the creek onto Cincinnati Dayton Road several feet. Water ripping through Old Westchester. People don't understand. It looks like a little mild mannered little creek. The locals already know. After we had the really hard rain, we keep an eye on the creek. It's hard to find a place on Cincinnati Dayton Road where the water didn't reach, including Alan Kramer's home of 18 years. The basement is flooded. Uh, the yard is totally destroyed. All of our vegetable gardens are gone and washed out. The flood water damaging at least three businesses. It happened in an area under construction for bridge work. Because they've got the creek partially closed off with the construction. Um, it, if they had had that creek wide open, this wouldn't have happened. Barb Wilson with the city of Westchester says it's too early to pinpoint an exact cause, but she says they'll be working to figure it out. I'm sure next week there'll be discussions with the Butler County Engineer's Office and the contractor and trying to identify anything, you know, maybe that would have been done differently. The damage left over coming into focus for folks like Kramer and Victoria Alvarez. I've seen it just bagged three or four times. Parts of the road and driveways washed out. Now the focus is on the cleanup. It only happened once before this was quite this bad. And I mean, we have stuff in the basement. We have some pumps and they're working. We'll be working with some of the businesses that were probably affected by the flooding. Reporting in Old Westchester, Jake Ryle, 9 on your side.